Hello everyone, it's Mouse here and it's been another lovely day today but as the evening draws closer the sun is beginning to set so it's time for bed and maybe a bedtime story. So I've got a very tiny friend here. I'm going to have a story with me, Tiny Teddy. Let's see if he can rest just here and listen to the story as well. It's not about a teddy, it's um, one of these stories that I've got here and the first one is called The Lost Sheep. Okay, um, I don't think it's going to be a very long story so I won't keep you long. It says, here is a farmer. He has a hundred sheep. He is counting them. Can you see them all? Oh, look. There's his calculator. Can you read the number on the calculator? Up here, it says 99. One of his sheep is missing. Oh dear, where has it gone? He's looking everywhere for it. They all look a bit surprised, don't they? I think, look, the gate has been left open. Is it in the hen house? No. That uh, hen's looking a bit uh, cross that somebody's searching her hen house. Is it behind the haystack? No. A little mouse there. Also looking a bit cross that he's been disturbed in his haystack. Is it under the hedge? No, it is lost. Now, do you know what that little creature is? That is a mole and they usually live under the ground. And he's popped his head up to see what all the fuss is about. All day, the farmer looks for his sheep. He climbs up hills and scrambles over rocks. He looks a bit worried, doesn't he? He's a bit concerned. Oh, Teddy, you've fallen out. Hold on a second. Let's see if we can put him up here, just peeking out just by my neck there. He crawls through bramble bushes. The thorns scratch him, but he will not give up. That really hurts if you scratch yourself on a thorn or a, a prickly bush. And I think in this bush, look, he's left a bit of his shirt. One of the thorns must have uh, snagged his shirt. He is tired and hungry. His feet ached, but he will not give up. Look, the sun is behind the clouds. Maybe it's getting towards evening. And the farmer is still searching everywhere for the sheep. He looks quite tired and a bit mm, anxious, doesn't he? At last, the farmer sees his sheep. It has fallen in the river. Teddy, you're not really good at staying up here. Let's see. The farmer dives into the water. Splosh. Head first. Splosh. Hooray, the farmer has found his sheep. 
<laughs> all the other sheep look pleased too, don't they? A bunch of happy sheep there. And there's the farmer coming back home relieved, carrying the sheep around his shoulders. Let's have a party. There they are. They've got something to celebrate. They've found their stray sheep. Jesus said, God is like the farmer. He loves us, just like the farmer loves his sheep. And there's a little message that goes with this story at the front of the book. And it's from the Bible. Um, it's from a passage in Luke 15, verses 4 to 7. Jesus says, Suppose one of you had a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What do you do? Oh, Teddy, don't get lost. I need to find you. Here you go. Be safe up there. So suppose a, a, a one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. What do you do? You leave the other 99 sheep in the pasture and go looking for the one that got lost until you find it. When you find it, you are so happy that you put it on your shoulders and carry it back home. Then you call your friends and neighbours together and say to them, I'm so happy I found my lost sheep. Let us celebrate. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 respectable people who do not need to repent. So Jesus wants us to be part of his fold as if we were all his sheep so um, he would love us to all be part of his family so he will hunt us and save us and look after us and he'll be so happy if we join him to be part of his family so you can join Jesus family by just saying a little prayer just asking Jesus to come into your heart and if you ask him, he will. He will come into your heart and he will never leave you and he will be with you always. So if you'd like to say a prayer to have Jesus in your heart, just close your eyes and say these words after me. I'll close my eyes too. So you just repeat what I say. Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I'm sorry for everything that I've done wrong. Please come into my heart. Please make me brand new on the inside. I'd like to follow you and worship you every day. Please be with me every day from now on, Jesus. Amen. And if you say that prayer and ask Jesus into your heart, he will come and live in your heart. And, and be with you all day, every day, all night, every night. So as it's night time now, I'm just going to say good night to you. Sleep well. God bless you. Good night. <laughs>